I want to make a game anyone can play, regardless if you play on keyboard, controller, or if you can even speak English. So what's one thing anyone can do? Breathe. Game studios spend lots of money to have their games reach the most amount of people possible, so they spend on dubbing and translating their game into other languages. However, there's a bunch of languages out there, so they can't possibly reach everybody. However, breathing, basically anyone can do. Well, these comments told me apparently people with iron lung can't do it, people with asthma can't do it, and randomly this guy's dad can't do it. But besides those people, anyone can breathe. Um, well, I, I, I guess people who are blind c can't play the game, as well as people who don't have a computer. So besides those people as well, anyone can play the game. So this game could potentially reach the most amount of people possible, but we actually have to build it, so let's go do that. The first step is to figure out how in the world I'm going to be able to detect if the user takes a breath. Now, when I thought this over for a while, there was three options I thought of. The first would be connecting a pinwheel to a potentiometer, and then when you blow in the pinwheel, it would then turn the potentiometer, and then you can read the data and send that to Unity. This is the same device I used in the I Control Doodle Jump with an Apple video, if you want to go watch that, after this video, obviously. However, I no longer have that device, so that's not going to work. Next, I was thinking some kind of lung sensor or breathing sensor. I mean, they have a heart sensor, so why wouldn't they have a lung sensor? And then I thought about it and I was like, I don't think they have that. So that's not going to work. And the third idea, and the idea I eventually went with, is taking a microphone and then sending that data to Python, doing a little bit of processing so you can only detect breathing and then send that over to Unity. So let's code that up. So it took a bunch of time, but I eventually got a Python script and I'm having that run right now. And if you open this, so right here you can see the data that's being sent to Unity. And if I were to blow, so if I breathe out, you can see that it has a lot of detected. So it, can, so it can detect the breathing. So now I need to use that data within Unity and create a game around that. So let's create the game. Okay, finally the game development part, the part you've been waiting for. Out with this garbage Python and in with objectively my favorite language, C Sharp. Okay, so it's not technically my favorite language, but like it's the one Unity uses and Unity is my favorite. So we'll just go with that. Okay, but you guys might be asking, what's the game I'm actually creating? Well, it's a character on a platform, and then when you breathe out, the p character moves forward, and when you stop breathing, the character stops. And now there's axes or some kind of weapons that will swing back and forth, and if they hit you, you die. And you have to make it all the way to the end of the level. I also might be creating a second level. I haven't decided how long this will take, and I guess you'll have to wait to the end to find out. So let's create a new Unity project and create this game. I started off by creating a test scene with everyone's favorite character, the capsule. Now the capsule needs somewhere to go, so let's create a quick platform. We also need something to swing back and forth to actually hit off our player, so let's create- oh gosh. Okay, we'll fix it, I promise, we'll fix it. And now all we have to do is connect this to Python and... Okay, so there were a few problems, like this one, but it eventually worked out well and now we can move the character and stop the character when we stop breathing. Excellent. So now we actually have to make this look better. And yeah, I guess I'll explain that right now. This is about the time we have to say goodbye to the capsule. It's not looking great and not fitting the aesthetic we need. So I created something new. I'm also going to create this model in exactly three minutes. And not because maybe it would hide my bad modeling because I could just say I made it in three minutes. No, 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 because I thought it'd be cool. Definitely. That one, the latter. Anyway, so I created the model. It's looking great, looking, looking amazing. Nice traps on that guy. But we gotta continue on and find the animations. So I went to Maximo and found two animations, a running animation and an idle animation. So I put that into Unity and I ran it. Okay, he, he's just running away now. Dude, where are you going, bro? I have a video to make, come back. Okay, he's gone. Anyway, we'll continue on with the new guy. Don't mess up this time, I swear to God if you mess up. I created you, buddy. I created you. And at a character's own free will, the game started working. The character was able to move when I took a breath and animate correctly. So now I was trying to fix whatever we got going on here. So I went to Blender and catted up a new axe model and made that rotate back and forth. But honestly, it looked kind of repetitive with the same 
axe model the whole time. So I created a spiked hammer, brought that into Unity and also added it. And then finally I created a spawner that spawned in the obstacles, but it also made sure that they were a certain distance apart so they weren't on top of each other. And then I did it, that was it. Here's the demo right now and you can see that's the final part. I don't really know what more to add. I mean, it's a pretty basic game, added a skybox, looks pretty good. But we gotta create the second level. So let's do that right now. For the second level, I was thinking about creating a shooter game, cause why not? To play the game, you'd automatically rotate and when you breathe out, it would shoot a bullet forward. So to create this, I first created a new scene and I actually learned that you can make a material metallic. And that's kind of all I did. I made everything metallic. The gun model I created, the enemy that I created, and as well as the bullet. So when you breathe out, it would shoot forward. And it's the same logic as in the other one, except for shooting. So it's pretty cool now. So that's kind of it. That was the only two games I could think of. If you have any ideas, I could possibly make a second video if this one does really good. So maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I wanna thank you for watching. I made some shorts recently that did very good. So I plan on making more of those soon. I have one that's gonna be released soon. So get ready for that one. Um, if you have any game ideas, that'd be so helpful because that's really what's making it hard to make videos is because I have no good ideas. So I want to do a video where like I make all of your guys' ideas. So comment them down below. And if you enjoyed, leave, leave a like, leave something. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Peace. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall It's an obsession, I have it, you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tack to do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say fuck up, I ain't moving small, bitch